Hello, my name is Dolly Young and this is a quick run through on how to use the Google Plus Hangouts. Now this is the Hangouts without extras. I will do another video with extras. Now when you open up your Google Hangout, you'll see that you've got someone big screened here and then you also have these people down the bottom. These are live video feeds that you can control by clicking on the each of them to bring them up on the main screen or if they are the main topic of conversation and they are speaking they will appear automatically if there is not a blue ring around the person's photograph. So back to it up the top left hand side there are quite a few links that you can click. If we start on chat you can text chat the group by clicking in a little box down the bottom and typing in and hit and return and also you can use smileys if you click on a little smiley face there and we'll just put a little smiley in there and hit return and it comes up with a smiley and you don't even have to learn all the codes for it. The next link along is to invite people. If you want to invite a particular person, say for example invite me Dolly Young and there I am. Click on me and it will blue box me in there and it will invite me when I'm clicked to invited. You can also put in entire circles there by either searching for them by typing in the first few letters and it will automatically come up with them or you can invite public if you need to although I suggest that you ask people if they mind it being put public because not everyone likes to speak publicly but if you want to invite people, click on invite or if you don't want to go ahead, click on close. The next icon is the screen share link. If you click on that, I'll drag the box over here so you can see it. We have different, um, I have different things open on my machine. So I can share with you what I'm seeing on one of my other screens. So say for example, I wanted to show off this stream, I can click on shared selected window and it will open it up in my video stream. Um, it will automatically flip it so that you can figure it out yourself. And you can also move your screen around and go places and do stuff with that um, when you are actually sharing your screen. So if you need some help with something, you can actually get the help um, over a Hangout. So if we go back over to our Hangout and then click on screen share again, it will take it off. There we go. And the next icon along is YouTube. If you click on that, it will come up with the YouTube plugin for Google Hangout. Up the top right hand side, you can search for videos. If I type in Dolly and then search, and up come some videos of me. You can click on them and they will start playing. There we go. When you are automatically watching a video, it will make sure that you're muted. If you want to actually talk to people during the video, click on the push to talk and it will allow you to talk while you're in the Hangout. Okay, so once you're done watching your video, click on the YouTube link again and it'll take you back to the video feeds. Okay, so the last icon in this little navigation bit up here is a mask. Now, it depends what season you're in. During Christmas, it was like Santa hats and reindeer antlers and things like that. But this season, we have dog masks, cat masks, angels and demons. So if you click on the button, it will automatically look for your eyes and then pop on the mask. And you'll see it moves around with me or tries to keep up. And if you click it again, it will switch it off. Now, if I click it again, it will bring up the next mask, which is the cat one. And if I click it again, it will go away. Okay, over the top right hand side, there's a few really essential links over here. So the first one is to mute your mic to everyone in the Hangout. Um, if you click on it, it will go red and you'll notice this little no microphone sign here. We also have a little no microphone sign down in your mini video feed. If we cancel that by clicking it again, you'll see it all disappears. 
over the next one is to turn the camera on. If you click it, I go blank. If you click it again, it will come back on. Really handy to know where the settings are for in here. As with most Google things, they keep cogs as the, the icon for settings. So click on the little cog, up comes your settings. You can change how your webcam's coming in. If you've got multiple webcams, you can choose which camera you're using. There's also microphone and also how you are listening to the feeds coming through. And down the bottom, this is a really great little tool for if you're in a connection area that's not so great. So if you click on there, you can choose whether you're on a fast connection or a slow connection. The difference between the fast connection and the slow connection are the little videos that come up at the bottom of the screen. Now, what it does in the slow connection is it just changes it to the picture. If I click it onto slow connection and then save settings, now, you'll notice that my icon comes up rather than my actual feed. Yet, if I click on it, it comes up with the feed that's pulled in from the other computer. Okay, back into the settings. Um, you can also choose not to report quality statistics to help improve voice and video chat. Okay, remember and click on save settings or nothing will be saved or cancel changes if you've not changed anything. Okay, and down the bottom right hand side, if you are needing information on blocking people in Hangouts, you can click on the link. There we go, and it gives you more information about blocking people in Hangouts if you need to. And also you can report an issue. And if you need more help, click on the link. Now another really good little tip is if you hover over the people's names that are in the bottom video, you can get a quick link to their profile. Or if you need to, you can click to mute them and you'll notice mute audio for participant Dolly Young, mute now, click mute and that will mute my other computer. And also you can block the other person. One last thing before we go, up the top right hand side, when you're ready to leave a hangout, click on the little exit button and you'll leave the hangout. My name is Dolly Young, thanks for watching and happy hanging out.